Yes, sir. The moment that all Street Fighter fans have been waiting for ever since we realized that Akuma was most likely not going to be a part of the base roster anyway. But yes, Capcom has finally released the official gameplay reveal trailer for Akuma. And I'm I'm ready for it, man. Just judging by the screenshot and the picture alone, yo, he looks so bad, bro. So yeah, man, let's get into it because I don't know how they're going to make the Raging Demon look better than it did on street fighter 5 but yeah man let, let's go let's go man only my blood i'm disappointed where will this path of strife take him are you after strifing bro damn Okay. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, yo. Oh my god, bro. Akuma looks amazing. Hey, come on, man. As long as he took you out to release this motherfucker, he better look amazing. But oh, Emma's Hollow looks awesome. Of course it was gonna be right here. Okay, good old OG. Bro, his design dog. Yeah. Y'all did that Capco for real. Why does it look like he's driving and packing so damn quick that you can barely see it? Ooh, okay, nice. See, bro, it, see, you ain't gonna be chopping me on top of my head like that, bro. Oh, shit, see, I can already tell he is gonna be an issue when it comes to, like, wall of combos and stuff. Yeah, bro. Ain't no way. Yes, sir, the classic coat. That's what I'm talking about. The OG design. That'd be messed up if they make you pay for that, though. Let's go. Yes, sir. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to hurry up and get back in the Street Fighter lab, bro. I should have been doing like my party people. They already just started early. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go, man. And then I'm also just having flashbacks of when like, Cyber Akuma used to whoop me. Captain with SNK too. Damn! Sacrifice yourself to the sons we know how to. Hey yo, bro. I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be yeah man. That's Die a thousand deaths. That's here we go. Raise a demon. Oh, oh. Shadow Clone Jutsu now? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, hey. What? I love how they made us wait until after the logo to see that, too. All right, so I'm going to just get the elephant out of the room. You know what I'm saying? My boy Akuma out here looking like an albino Ganondorf right now. But it's okay, though. He still looks badass as hell, bro, because what the hell did I just watch? I could be mistaken, but did they give Akuma a command grab now? I just... Bro, okay, I don't even know where to begin. And once again, I will say it, bro, I do love how they waited until the end of the trailer after the logo was done, and they pulled it, they pulled the NXT, you know what I'm saying? They showed the logo, trademark, thank you, it was about to be over. Nope, betrayal was about to pursue. I also love the fact that this trailer was basically Street Fighter Alpha Generation, the way it was been right, you ass, but, dog, yeah, man, I am, I am here for it, bro. I don't. I just love how the Unreal Engine Five did wonders for Tekken Eight, and the Resident Evil Engine is done the same thing for Street Fighter. It's just amazing to see when you think about Four and how it was when it first came out, and the backlash that it got, and C Five, and you know to see where it is now. Yo, I am loving everything about it dog akuma looks dope that's really the only thing that i can just really say i do love how the lava effects on his move 
And I do appreciate the new stage. You know what I'm saying? It does look good. So honestly, that's why you could argue that Street Fighter Six was the best fighting game between that and Tekken Eight. I mean, I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat One, but you know, y'all kind of did that to yourself though. But I just really wish that we had like a, a better cadence. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the DLC go, because. It was like, what, four or five months between Ed and Akuma, and I think we still got another month to wait, or like another month or so to wait before Goki comes out. But either way it go, though, man, May 22nd, yeah, I am. Yeah, let me go ahead and clear some space, because, uh, yeah, dog, I need to go ahead and start labbing again in Street Fighter Six. But, yeah, man, overall, I'm here for it. It looks dope. That's all I got. I don't have <laughs> Something that I did find interesting, though, is the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the Raging Demon is the second level three super art, and it can only be performed when he's about to die. So, nine times out of ten, it's basically going to be a summons on the old Final Fantasy games. Like, you can't summon nobody <laughs> until you about to croak out. But, yeah, man, I, I just cannot wait for the day that they nerf Akuma. Like, just looking at him now, he already going to be a problem. I can already see the issues, like I said, with, you know, wild rush combos and stuff like that, man. But when he get nerfed, people going to lose their shit. And, not, look, all right, once again, Capcom, I appreciate you. I love you and all this good stuff. But where in the hell is Saigat? I'm tired of playing Street Fighter games and... Sagat is either not involved at all or he's a DLC character. This is a bunch of BS. I'm 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 sick of it. Like at this point, because look, bro, like Akuma's a DLC character again. Like make it make sense. Eddie Gordo is the DLC character on Tekken. It, it's just which, but yeah, man, like far as going to another tangent rant, bro. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the official gameplay reveal trailer for Akuma. Like the video, share the video and subscribe for people like me who to be honest forgot i even had street fighter 6 installed on my ps5 in the first place it's just gonna make you go back and jump on the game it is for me i ain't gonna lie to you i gotta get back in the lab from marissa too though i, I was yeah i was getting kind of good but yeah man akuma you definitely gonna be the next main bro but like i always man i appreciate y'all watching this video your boy is out